Hey, yeah, review family, keep it, I keep it tight. My name is Jay Morse, review guy, and I'm back again to bring you another video. And in this one, I'm going to be covering the new Pelican album entitled Nighttime Stories. So Pelican, the post-metal quartet from Illinois, USA, they're currently signed to Southern Lord Records, and this is their sixth studio-length album. And they fit pretty squarely into the Southern Lord Records repertoire, considering they featured bands like High on Fire and Sun, specifically bands like Nocmistium, and they used to feature Corrosion of Conformity and a lot of other very sludgy, slow, doom metal, post-metal, sludge metal, stoner bands that kind of permeate the really murky side of extreme music. Post metal is a genre that I'm very weary with. A lot of times it can feel long-winded, it can feel overly dramatic, and it can just be a jarring listen for the most part. They go for very long links, and a lot of times they don't really justify those long links. But I've always kind of had an admiration for Pelican from afar, but I wanted to check out this album to see if it was something interesting. With that being said, I think Pelican has come through with one of the best post metal albums of the year. I haven't admittedly heard that many, but I do really enjoy this record. The band sounds very diverse on this record from a post-metal standpoint. I don't really find myself feeling like any of the tracks are too long-winded, too long. I was very engaged and very intrigued throughout the entire listen. It's eight tracks, it's 44 minutes, and the thing that I have to compliment right off the bat for this record is how balanced everything feels. It knows when it needs to be fast, it knows when it needs to be slow, it knows when you have to have those fast drum playing that's kind of reminiscent of black metal, when you kind of have to layer the distorted guitars, when you have to make the bass prominent, how fast or how slow you need to make the drums play, and that's very, very important when you're talking about a post-metal band that is completely instrumentally backed. They do not have vocals on this record, they do not have vocals in general in their discography, and the thing about that is you really have to make the instrumentals speak for you. They have to have some sort of taste, spice, something different to them, especially in a genre like post-metal that is very idiosyncratic, very one note a lot of times. It's kind of a contrast, and antithesis to each other. you got to have the instrumentals sound good. You have to have the instrumentals lead the compositions because they are the compositions. And I was pretty awestruck. I was pretty blown away by just how well orchestrated this whole album feels from a post-metal playbook. It's feeling emotional. It feels lonesome at times, it feels devoid of emotion at times, it feels bleak, it feels dystopian, it feels harmonious, it feels victorious, it feels so layered and distorted that you kind of just drift away and dimensions break around you, kind of like a sun record if they kind of just upped it a little bit. There's just normal post-metal influences, there's some black metal influences in the way some of the drums come across, there's some sludge metal and stoner influences in the way some of these guitars layer and how it's so distorted and fuzzy at times. And they don't just pad out the same riffs over and over to the point to where it gets mundane like a lot of post-metal and post-rock bands do. They're constantly changing it up, they're constantly doing some nice progressions in the mix, and it's all backed with some very clear, pristine production. But not too pristine. It's not brittle, it's not like unmixed, it's not raw or blunt, but it's mixed very nicely to where everything is audible, everything is leading this mix, and it just feels like a tapestry, but it's not just so clean that it's just so stroked by the industry like a lot of post-metal is. To where the instrumentals just feel very lifeless and they just don't really apply much emotion and they don't feel as passionate as maybe the musicians really planned it to be. Yeah, I'm feeling impressed by this record quite a lot. I highly suggest it to anyone that really is a detractor for post-metal or post-rock or someone that kind of likes the genre but didn't really hear about this release and it flew under the radar. It's garnering a lot of acclaim and I can definitely see that. The only thing that I have a nitpick for is there's really not any brand spanking new ideas or progressions on this record that I feel like some post-metal bands and post-rock bands haven't done already. That's not to discredit the band, it's not to say that they're not really doing anything intriguing or interesting because I'm going to be giving this a pretty high score and I am saying a lot of nice things about it because it's an enjoyable record. But in the grand scheme of post-metal and post-rock with repeated listens, I find myself saying does this really stand out against like all of the other bands? And the answer is kind of yes and no simultaneously. Yes, I think Pelican is doing very interesting things and very interesting progressions and the production is very well orchestrated and all of the performances are very nice and pristine and not that sterile on this record, but at the same time they're not really standing out either in the grand scheme of things. But I still enjoyed this record quite a bit. 
So yeah, it's not going to reinvent the wheel, but I still highly suggest it because I enjoyed it quite a bit and I feel like you will too, especially for a genre that I'm usually not that into. So yeah, I'm going to be giving this on my 7 out of 10. And that is a wrap. Please stay for the end screen. I'll link some videos you might be interested in. Have you heard this record? If you have, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to discuss it with you. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. I'll talk to you guys next time. But until then, my name is Jay Morse. Review Guy, and I'm signing off saying farewell.